In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel, from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast day of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. And um, we, hear for, we hear Jesus having zeal for his Father's house. Zeal for your house will consume me. And we see this zeal expressed in him chasing out the money changers and the, those who sold doves and, and oxen and things like that. He said, stop making my father's house, uh, uh, in, uh, stop turning it into a marketplace. Other, other parts, you know, we, we've heard Jesus said, my father's house shall be a house of prayer. So he's zealous for his father's house. I don't know if any of you have ever been to a, a dedication of a church, but it's, it's quite sacred. You know, the walls are, are anointed with chrism. The altar is anointed. There's incense everywhere and candles and everything. It's very sacred because before that, it was just a building. But once it's dedicated, it belongs to God. It's a sacred place. So we should remember that every time we step into a church, um, that it is the house of God, and we should treat it with reverence and respect and honor. <clears throat> and so that... Um, and, and so that should be expressed in the way we, we dress, uh, obviously. And also, we, should, we shouldn't be talking and joking in the church like it's any other building. And, um, and I'm also not a big fan of applauding either. You know, if you like a homily, then thank God privately. Uh, but it's, it's not a place of entertainment or, or anything like that. So um, there are certain things that are not really acceptable. In, in, inside a church building and see so we should remember that that this is a, a sacred place a house of God and Jesus is zealous uh, to, to keep it pure to keep it holy and uh, speaking of the house of God we too are the house of God we too are the temple of the Holy Spirit and Jesus is zealous for, for us for our soul to keep it pure to to um, to keep it holy to make because it belongs to God right we, we have been dedicated to God we have been consecrated to God at our baptism and so we need to remember that. And we too should have zeal for, our, for, for God's house, which is, our, which is our soul, which is our temple. I see so many Catholics and Christians just defile their souls, right? It no longer resemble the house of God. They bring in all kinds of evil and filth and sins. And so that's really, um, really tragic. Um, but let us do what we can. Let's, let us do our part. Let us purify ourselves and to keep it holy and keep it sacred because it belongs to God. And that's why I've written the book, um, The Imitation of Mary, Keys to Growth in Virtue and Grace, to help all of us grow in holiness because I too am zealous for God's temple, for God's house, for our soul. I, I, I want people to be holy. And I, I, I put in three years of work, taking uh, three years, yeah, uh, um, of vacation time uh, writing this book and uh, putting in all my knowledge into helping people imitate Mary to grow in holiness. And so I hope that you will purchase the book on, and uh, it's on Amazon or on Sophia Institute Press and, uh, and, and other bookstores. And, and, and hopefully if enough people read it, all of us will grow in holiness and hopefully we will renew the church and eventually sanctify the world.